Hi everyone, this is a very very spontaneous video. I just finished my PPA class which is the personal and professional advancement of the medical course in UKM just now and it was about time management and it kind of inspired me to film this. So it is not planned, I do not have a script. I, I definitely hope that this video won't be all over the place. Yep, okay so before I get into it, I'll just introduce myself if this is the first time you you watch my videos. I'm Chi Wei and I'm a first year medical student in University Kebangsaan Malaysia. Alright, and I'm into my second module. I'm one month into medical school. So if you saw the title then, I'm not sure what I'm going to name it yet, but it's probably the first month of medical school is hard. Yeah, I'll, I'll just put it that way. So... You know, if you're watching this, you're either a pre-U student, who I think most, most pre-U students watch my channel to gain information, right? Or you're currently in medical school, or you're just, you're for other courses, you just want to see, you just want to see, like, like what, what, what I'm up to, I don't know. Yeah, so, I'll probably explain to you guys the why factor first, uh, why, why it's hard, alright? Okay, so, um, in... UKM medicine, we go by modules, right? So our first module is cellular biomolecules, and then our second module is anatomy, and then we have the metabolism module and so on. Uh. So I just finished my first module, and today is the first day of my second module, which is anatomy. I love it. And anatomy is fun, but CBM, cellular biomolecules, okay, this is a module in which our seniors actually warned us about. They said, like, this is the killer module. It's like this module is cancerous, they say. And I can I can totally tell why. Because you see cellular biomolecules is is really um a lot a lot to take in, a lot to absorb. So we're studying about proteins, we're studying about DNA replication, translations, re tra transcriptions, which you know we we already have um gone through it in pre-university, right? But then now we're going into that like in more detail so and then we have our end of module exam after each module so it's like it's like you don't have a the end and the end of module exam is a legit exam you know it's not like you it's not a matrix it's not like ups where it's like just a very simple very simple assessment but eom is like a legit test i i would say because it's actually quite deep so you really have to like study like it's the like your final exam and how it, how it goes is like we have we go through our modules uh we study la and then we just study 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 and then let's say the last week of the module is we finish it the last week of our module and then the next monday is the exam so it's like uh right after that module then thorough's exam already so you don't have time to actually like like sit down and revise everything you really have to be consistent if not you cannot catch up at all because that's just just a lot. CBM is a lot. Like if you if you come into UKM then then you probably get what I mean. Yeah, and that's when the stress strikes, like, you know. You know, like I, I realize a lot of us, right? Like, yeah, my senior told me before coming in, study like study beforehand, study beforehand. But you know, I realized when I get got into medical school, as much as I know what to expect, I I kinda went into the autopilot mode. Uh. I don't know if it's me only or what. I just went into the autopilot mode because there's just so many things already like there for you. So I just like go with the flow. I just follow. And then I, I kind of failed to like, like sit, really sit down and reflect on what I'm actually doing. Am I actually making, making things out of, out of the time I spend? Okay. What am I talking about? Like, like you just go autopilot and you're, you're you don't have a direction anymore. If you get what I mean. I don't know if you get what I mean or not. So like that that kind of occurred to me. And then near to the exam. Then I was like. Oh my god. Like I've been studying. I've been studying like before every lecture. I would go through lecture notes. But then nothing stuck into my mind. Like I don't remember anything. And I was like so overwhelmed you know. Because I'm actually very involved in a lot of other stuff. Like, other than academics. And the week before my EOM exam. I already know that I couldn't catch up. And then I I had other commitments, like I had to go for a meeting, which 
it's my responsibility lah. I couldn't just say I don't go. And then at that time, it really hit me, you know. I was like, like what, what, like, no, it's really, I really felt the stress like, at that time. I feel like I, I completely cannot focus. Like when I, I sit down and like, I want to study, nothing is getting into my head and I just couldn't focus lah. And then when I study, I'm like, I keep thinking about, oh my god, my exam is just in a few days. I, this is too much. I cannot absorb. Uh, then, well, I felt, then I, I'm not even kidding. I, I really felt like, it's my first time ever. <laughs> See, it's like the first month in medical school, then I'm like that already. Like, what the heck? But then, it's okay. Self-awareness, you know, being aware early is better than late, right? So, yeah lah, then, then after that, I kind of like sat down and talked to myself, you know, I can't, I can't avoid any of it, I can't avoid the exam, I can't avoid not doing my extracurricular stuff, right, it's, you know, it's like both or so, I cannot let go, what am I supposed to do, you know, I, if I go this, my exam will screw up, if I go that, my, the other side will screw up, you know, that kind of, kind of in that dilemma, and I was really, I was really like, wow, well, my mind was like really messed up. But then I, I kind of like sat down and then told myself, okay, this is, it's already like that. You can't change anything. You know, it thinks it's done Like, even if I keep thinking about it, nothing will change, right? The, the situation is like that already. So I, I kind of like, okay, la, what can I do? La? Okay, I tell myself, it's okay. Um, I would still go for my other commitments but then I would compensate that time. You know, sometimes we just sit down and scroll our phones and you know, do all those like like useless stuff. Okay, I, I won't do that. I'll spend my time really focusing on studying and then when the time when I go and um, go and uh, you know, go for all the meetings and stuff I'll treat that time as my relaxing relaxation time la. so so I I put myself in that mindset so I wouldn't feel guilty I wouldn't feel guilty if I go there that I feel like I'm not studying because I, it's like the time for me to rest and other than that I'm actually focusing so that was the mindset I put myself in and it worked yeah it worked and and then I I tell myself la, okay if if I cannot catch up already, but you know I, I keep feeling so stressed out and and so um I feel so bad about myself because I didn't manage well and then I cannot I cannot cope. Like even if the even if the outcome of my results, my end of module results is not good, it wouldn't be as bad as the scenario when I, I still, I keep feeling like that way and then I lose focus, you get what I mean? So, I cannot change anything, I might as well buck up and just face it, you know, just face it and instead of feeling miserable, I just tell myself, okay, it's like that already, just face it lah. Okay, and then after that, yeah, I, I, I managed to like, like okay lah, I managed to focus back and, and, and study and, and I started to gain back like the self-belief like okay I can face the test I can face the test okay I can do it yeah so that is that is kind of why you know the first month wasn't easy because it's a bit difficult to cope and I know I talked about time management before in one of my videos and that was uh, for matriculation college lah and I realized coming into medical school it is so different and also maybe provided I'm also at home and you see that the, the schedule is almost the same. It's as packed as metrics, you know, schedule-wise, almost the same. But the amount of things you need to absorb in one lecture, in one module, is crazy. It's so much. It's, you know, you know how, like, in sometimes in metrics, I still get to enjoy. And then, like, by the end of the week, I can, like, study. I can, like, catch up very fast. And then, like, oh, done. But in medical school, it's so different. You cannot catch up by the end of the week, okay? Like, it's, it's too much for you to catch. You know, you just, you just can't, okay? And, and I think the best coping mechanism for me right now, I realized 
right after every lecture, you have to understand the whole thing fully and not push it back because it's not like college. It's really too, it's really a lot. Yeah, so that's what I learned lah. So and just now we had our like I said the PPA class that inspired me to make this video. It's because we talk about time management and then our our lecturer kind of asked everyone to share uh, how are they feeling lately? Are they managing their time well? We're talking about well-being in uh, which consists of they say four four components, which is physical well-being, emotional well-being, mental well-being, and spiritual well-being. So these four. So we kind of reflected. We kind of reflected on it, and then we most of us realized that because we're all at home right now, right? We lack physical wellness, ah, definitely, and you know, peop then kind of like. Uh, my friends and I, we kind of shared la, like say that okay like emotionally some of us we are not really doing well because uh, you know the last module was tough then all of us realised that we are not the only ones struggling yeah and that, that taught me a lesson that it's okay to not be okay it's meant to be tough, med school is meant to be tough and and um, we are not alone and it's very comforting to know that I'm not the only one struggling over here. We have, you know, so many batchmates and everyone, like, if you're watching this and you're struggling in med school, let me tell you, man, everyone, I'm also struggling, okay? Like, it's something new to us because we are first-year medical students. We just stepped into medical school, so it's adaptation, you know? We really have to adapt to it and it's... We need time to adapt to that, like... Yeah, so, so the session was really eye-opening. And you see, the good thing about medical school is... Oh yeah, one thing I just want to emphasize here. Medical school is fun, okay? It's really fun. It's just the... Okay, the, 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 the knowledge you have to absorb to sit for the test and everything is very stressful. But overall, it's really very fun because we have a lot of... We don't really have a lot of conventional lectures. It's a lot of group discussions, a lot of... Um, interactive sessions so we have like PBL problem-based learning where we are given a trigger like say this person walked into the clinic with a uh, with his uh, toe swollen and then we have to discuss like what is the diagnosis and all and then we have MES meet the expert session which is like they will give us a case which uh, sickle cell anemia or a myocardial infarction and then we have to do research and then kind of discuss it in the session so it's very fun la. I'm really enjoying the whole how the course runs I think UKM is like the way they structure their course is really good it's fun uh, but you know the part where the exam part is I think it's the students problem like like we have to learn how to cope uh, and adapt yeah so that's one thing I want to point out and the good thing is that we have this PPA session I believe all medical schools have this session so it it's a very course sorry it's not a session it's a course and I think it's really good they teach you how to uh, manage yourself they teach you how to um, you know like all those um, soft skills are like how you want to speak to people how are you going to uh, behave and interact appropriately with different individuals so like for this second module it's more to Maybe they, they, they feel like in the second module, like most of us has already felt the stress and felt the need of, um, you know, rescheduling our whole day and, and yeah, and, uh, and, and they, they had like time management, SGD sessions, group discussion sessions and all those, and it really helps. And I tell you, uh, let me tell you, PPA SGD sessions are really fun. The lecturers are amazing. They're so friendly. Like, they're so nice. And it's really enjoyable. Uh, the experience in medical school is enjoyable, but it's not easy. I'll just put it that way. It's not easy, but it's enjoyable. I, I'm, I'm really liking it um, so far. Yeah. Yeah, so it's getting better now, you know. I felt the stress. It was actually just last week. But right now, I'm really feeling much better because I, I know where's my mistakes. I know where to improve myself. I'm aware about my problems. Um, I know what to do la right now. So I'm, I feel much better. 
especially after the session today as well and I think like you know things are hard but it's it doesn't mean that it's gonna be hard forever right it's things will get better eventually right so it's okay okay and and I'm here just sharing my experience because maybe if I was a pre U student last time, I would I would be very much like interested if like some some medical student from Malaysia, uh, kind of share the experience lah. So I hope, I hope, those, you know, aspiring medical students, if you're watching this, I hope, you know, it's satisfy your satisfies your curiosity, yeah. And I think that's all from me. I think I have done rambling. I don't even know if this video is going to make it or not because I didn't plan it. I feel like I'm rambling and I feel like I feel like it's not it's not really organized. No, I think I think I think that's all from me. Okay, so bottom line, medical school is hard but it will get better once you learn how to adapt, once you learn how to manage. I have not I I have not I am still in the process of learning how to adapt and how to manage but I think one very important mindset is knowing that it will get better knowing that once I learn how to manage once I adapt I would do okay yeah so that is the message of this video